All right, come up a Goosey Gander Legends. All right, oh, no, start again. So I can already read your minds. You're probably thinking, why the bloody hell did she put this in here? All right, so look, I'll tell you this. Silly people, you. <laughs> hey, folks, friendly neighbourhood wildlife twins here. Now, behind us, you see our dingo enclosure. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, she's seven years old. It's pretty old. Seven years old. <laughs> and it's time for a revamp. Mm -hmm. That's it. So stick around, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. It supports us in the wildlife conservation that we want to do in the future. So make sure you tell us everything that we've done right or maybe something that we've done wrong. Everything we've done wrong. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. See ya. Morning, folks. Now, you may have noticed if you have a keen eye, we are not in the dingo enclosure. Although, could you imagine being at this big? Be pretty cool. Anyway, and you have noticed that there's a machine on the back of the vehicle, a very dirty vehicle. Anyway, why are we here when you get dirt for the dingo enclosure? Because we live on a hill and dirt is also affected by gravity. Now, in saying that, we're going to take the dirt out of a place where it shouldn't be, which is a pond. And you're gonna see that now. Let's get cracking. All right, I know what you're thinking. Some of you might be thinking. So, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, why the bloody hell is this here? This wood and all that sort of stuff. Now look. Okay, this is a pretty hard area in the enclosure. And during the floods back, and, and even before then, this is a main water course down this hill. So it got really quickly eroded. Plus, these guys don't aid in that either. They actually increase the erosion by digging. It was a real pain to maintain and fix. So my genius idea is make a boardwalk that they can't dig under. And my vision stayed in my brain and actually didn't get put into the enclosure per se. What I'm trying to say is it doesn't work as well as I thought it would. So we're gonna rip this all up and we're gonna do it better. Every time we fail, we learn something. Let's get stuck in. Do not use drill as hammer. So sorry. <laughs> I'll let you into the enclosure here and I'll give you a bit of a rundown of what's happening. All right, so first things first, folks. Main thing that we gotta work on, or one of the main things, is this beautiful, bold rock wall. It's big and beautiful. It's much better than that TV show that you see sometimes that's still going on. Now, what's the problem with this rock wall? Okay, it's hard. Okay, and it's, it's more than that. It's the stuff behind the hard stuff. It comes out. The dirt from behind the rock wall is leaking out. Leaking is definitely not the correct term. Okay, and we want this rock wall to stay bold and beautiful forever. So what we're gonna do is gonna pack some more dirt in there, uh, get it to stay like that, but we're gonna add the addition of plants to hopefully retain that soil in there and make it structurally a bit more sound. You should see the hole up the back. It's crazy, it's very deep. All right, now. Number two, okay, coming to you. Ooh, okay, now this area here, these guys love this spot, uh, you know, ab about this time, so about midday. All right, so what we're, what we're gonna do is, everybody loves a deck. Comment below if you love a deck. Do you love a deck? What sort of deck? Okay, so we're gonna make a bit of a deck here. We're gonna use and recycled materials and repurpose it. We're actually gonna do something also underneath this in undercover area that Bridge is actually in right now. Now, 
we're going to have some more additions to this deck. It's not going to be just a, a plain old deck. Uh, we're going to have some hollow logs, but if you're going to have something coming from this rock wall down to um, the, the deck here, because dingoes love moving around. You want to get them to use their body. You want them to get the to my agility in there okay now last thing and probably the most important thing really is this hill now hills are annoying they're so annoying it's like they just want to be flat all the time okay now if you come up here oh it's very difficult it's very difficult and we get a lot of erosion come down here so here's the thought here's the plan don't know if it's going to work we're going to have three sectioned areas filled with three different types of substrate okay now hopefully it's going to act as a bit of a diffuser from that water coming down but also a bit of an enrichment area as well so that's a plan tell us if you think we're going to do something wrong or we are doing something wrong or if you have a better idea but i'm going to stop yapping jump back in the tools and let's get into it this is my bit of bullets, bush tucker. Yeah. Come on, man. watching this or general hobbyists of the garden we have um, we have practiced this this is a protection situation As in we've, tested. Tested. we've tested one and it has worked so it doesn't mean that everyone is gonna work <laughs> the thing is this stuff obviously I don't know anything about setting and we want to take the, the wire off at some stage as well until the plant is like pretty well developed. It's a hard task, you've got to have it on there but you are got to be able to pull it off at some point too. So if anybody has any insights for us, you're too late but I appreciate it anyway for the future. Look, you're just going to have to deal with it for now. Mr. Bush, you're just going to have to deal with it. Now look at this, this Muppet's just gone ahead and planted this. But she's just, she's just, you know, plants are alive, mate. Plants are alive. And look, just you hold on for this disgrace. You just hold on. What's this? The poor thing's just trying to survive. And... What's the alternative? That you're just a bit more delicate about it, you know? I hope you're not always that rough with your hands. Far out, mate. Look at that. That's just sad. Are well, you gonna go well down there? Oh, rest in peace, mate. Here we have the start of our garden beds. No, okay. Look, guys, times are getting tough and we're gonna have to grow some food. No, actually, in saying that, yes, do plant a veggie garden, but this is not a veggie patch. I don't think it would last long with you in there. Should we try and plant some tomatoes? Should we? Should we? No, back to this. So we decided to go for it with four tiers. Four tiers on this, and it's gonna have different substrate on here. Next time you see this, it's gonna look amazing. Like this.
enjoying the deck? Hey? Sorry, stop eating New Zealand. You enjoying the deck? Hey? You love the deck. The deck and the sand bit is the best thing out. These things should have been built. If you're gonna build a dingo enclosure, a deck and a sand pit, highly recommend. What do you think, Warrigal? Warrigal, you're looking er, old and dirty. Looking old and dirty. Dundee, you've been of no assistance. No surprise at all. Oh my God, how am I gonna do this? I just gotta guess, don't I? If I don't get this in the post, I'm gonna be unhappy. I won't be surprised. Oh! Did I get it? Ah! Oh. Oh. You missed it, didn't you? Uh, no, well, I got it, but I told you, I'm not surprised. You, it's in there. But, hey, look, we're going in blind. Warrigal, what do you think? Is it in? Yeah. Du -du 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 -du. Oh, what's this? A cotton bud. <clears throat> now we're ready. It's a nice looking hat. Where can you get them? TheWildlifeTwins.com. Link in the um, description below. But this is what I'm actually looking for. <laughs> Now we're ready for adventure. Sophie, what year is this handbrake made? Love how mechanical it is. Geez, Dwayne's doing a good job holding up your car. Dwayne, he's taking time off filming Black Adam. It's good of him. Or oh, hold for applause. <laughs> For sure, this driveway was never meant for big vehicles and trailers. I guess the design of the driveway was made oh, hello there. Um, back in 120 years ago, so cars were small then. Let's see how well she does this. We gotta go down there. doing great. No, keep going. She completely ignored my instructions. Completely. Very nice. Oh, look at that. You know, there's many relationships between dingoes and small kids. The enclosure looks like the playground. They have tantrums. <laughs> yes, I know this looks like a childhood playground. Okay, how many times have you eaten this sort of stuff in your life? while you were a child. By accident. Yes. Yeah. Okay, that is the question. However, we are not in a child playground. We're in this dingo enclosure. Bridget, doesn't it look like a branch banker? It looks great. She looks completely different. And we are on the home run. We're on the home stretch. And I'll be happy if I never see Will Borrow again. And my back will also be extremely happy as well. So here's the update. We've got to keep the hammock because the hammock has always been a staple in our dingo enclosure. Oh. Hammock being a shade cloth. Oh. oh my God, how novel is that? Look at it. She's loving it, that's what we want. I mean, to you guys, it might look like she's ruining our work, but you know what? That's fine. I thought you that go too, for it. honestly, you I'm on your end. All right, we got some natural parkour things happening. Backward. Yeah, parkour. That's right, you just saw that. Parkour. Okay, we got the deck up here. Look at this, this is absolutely wonderful. So, to finish up, we have a couple of things to do. 
we've got to water some trees we've got to make sure our plants in the wall are going a-okay we've got to plant a couple more trees and then we've got to see if we can finish up this bad boy and as we're doing that we might tell you the history of it so i reckon to have having a couple of tea time and we'll finish the home stretch this afternoon i'm excited yeah i want the banksia up there okay. oh which one's bigger it says on the back then dundee's Four meters three meters this is a small one okay all right, well, the banks here can go down here. It just, I, there's a wattle next to a wattle up there, but anyway. We can plant it here. I mean, where are you going, yellow? Up near the, the top. Up there? Yeah. Remember, I told you about this. Oh my God, your, your memory is terrible. It's just because I don't like to withhold useless information. Oh. Be up. dingo enclosure. Isn't it amazing? It is. Look, I don't know if they can take it in. We'll get some stellar drone shots for you anyway. But look, to give you a wrap up guys, oh no, well not a wrap up, but like a summary. Our dingo's here. There you go. Come here. There you go. They're, they're six or seven years old. Six years old. Hey. And this, so this enclosure therefore is the same age. So built around the same time. They came to us and it needed a bit of a revamp. I'm sure you've heard this before. Mm -hmm. And we had some ideas brewing. We saw children's playgrounds. A lot of children's playgrounds. <laughs> Inspired us. Mm. And it's where you get a lot of inspiration. And also other uh, zoological facilities as well. Yeah. Looking at their enclosures, but not just dingo enclosures, like lion. Yeah. yeah. Big animals. You gotta be the king. So we're gonna take you on a tour. Let's have a look. All right, number one, let's drop it down low. First thing, the bad boys here. Now, under this undercover area is always an area that was constantly eroded and the dingoes would love to dig. Also, no grass would go there because of this. So, we decided to put some of this mulch here. Absolutely wonderful. Let's spin around here as well. Bridge is going to take you through the next Come. bit. Ow. Look at this. Now, this is a piece of wood. It is a piece of wood, and we also got some tree hollows as well from it, which you'll see on the other side of the deck. Now, this uh, lovely fella from Outback uh, Casino gave us these uh, trees that had, for this tree that had fallen down, and the dingoes love it. This spot here, Dundee's favorite little perch. Then it comes up to our deck. Our deck, which resembles Soph, because Soph, well, you're misaligned, which is totally fine. I appreciate The line's that. not always this way. It's yeah. not always that direct. This is perfect sun baking situation. Absolutely. Now, what I love about this is pretty much 99% of the materials is all recycled. Oh. Okay, which is super cool, but it does mean things are warped and they aren't as straight. All right, now, 
Also, my favorite addition is this bad boy here. Look at it, it's wonderful. Now, this is a bit sentimental, isn't it, Bridget? Isn't it? Yeah, it kind of is. All right, you see, this bad boy would give you second three grade burns when you're after school playing tennis at the Tinnen, 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 Tinnen Bar Oval. It's worse than the seatbelt sitting in the sun and it catching you on the yes, side of your arm. I see what you're saying there. But no, this bad boy here is a very, very old slide. You know, I'm talking daddy's age slide, you know, yeah. when he was a kid. Like lead paint slide, don't breathe this. <laughs> and we remember this slide from when we were little youngsters, so it was really cool to grab this out of the garden that's been sitting there for yonks. Because dad actually, took it from the oval. Did he steal it? It is the question that we are we are unknown. With. It's a question. Yes. Will it be answered? Not sure. I don't know if you want to be answered. Did he tell us that he actually brought this to our property he with his good mate yeah. with a hacksaw? Yes, he did. Anyway, drop it down low again. What you have here is this beautiful hollow log that I was talking about before. How gorgeous is this? Now, hollow logs are super important to have in the wild for heaps of different reasons. Uh, resources for breeding, hiding, all that sort of stuff. But uh, it's good to be used here because it was just going to get uh, burnt out on that property. So good use and they've already been in it. But let's go that way. Spin around this way, mate, just behind you. Okay, now you guys would know that this section here has always been a disaster. disaster. We have a lot of erosion from a bit of water that we get here in Northern a River. Bit? I know. And again, all these boxes here are made out of pretty much all recycled materials. Thanks to the Mortimers. Mm -hmm. So all these different substrates in here, which we could utilize for enrichment, but also to help stop that erosion. Isn't that wonderful? Now, lastly, sand, sand, oh, I mean, small rocks and river stone. Oh, now, we've got a lot of Dwayne Johnson's children here. Uh, the, I will hope I never have to do this many buckets of rock oh up a hill in my life again. Again and if again. If they say again. zookeepers don't work hard. Anyway, mm -hmm. now over here though, we come across the plants. Now the plants are actually scattered all through the enclosure. There's a whole variety, we'll show you them. They're, they're there to hold the soil in. Especially and hopefully, behind. hopefully we'll be able to show them in like six months time. They're more set in and the that, roots are established. And the dingoes haven't decided that they didn't want vegetation in their, yes. in their enclosure. And then we did, she overbought the rocks. She overbought on the rocks, so we thought we'd utilize them. So they've come down here to the stairs, made it look all on. pretty. And look. I think, it actually makes it. I think it's gorgeous. I do. I do. I, I think we could Just be like the person who bought too much of it. I feel like the landscapers would be shaking their heads. Just gorgeous. Anyway, look, I hope you guys have stayed. I hope we can put this together. I guess we will find out. But it's been a minute. It's been a very long time building this enclosure. Uh, but I reckon the last there. thing to do is show them from the skies. Let's do it. <laughs> I thought they would leave it as an investment so they could put some good roots down. Sorry to interrupt our program, but we have some breaking news of cuteness. Don't worry, it is worth it. That's right, this is Warrigal in our Quo Beanie. <laughs> Gangster. Now, these beanies are super cool for so many super reasons. Number one, 50% of these profits from this beanie goes to Quo HQ. If you're not sure what Paul HQ is, go check out our latest video. Link will be somewhere below. All right, now, 
floor look. What else do we have to say? Look at this little coral patch here. It is adorable because you guys can also be qualified to spot wildlife yourself. Now, if you jump on our Shopify store, you'll be supporting us and also hopefully other organizations and other organizations in the future. Boo. It's a big didgeridoo.